Hello everybody and welcome back. As always, I am Mateo311 and this is your one channel for everything VR related. Today, we're checking out a demo for the upcoming action-adventure title Hubris, and I have to say this game is already looking great. Hubris isn't scheduled to release until mid-2022, and my demo was only the first hour of the game, but I walked away with extremely high hopes, and this title felt like what Lone Echo would be if it was an action game. While it's definitely too early to give this game any type of review, I will We'll break down the rest of this video with my standard review format and include some gameplay at the end. There are links and timestamps in the description if you want to jump around, but let's start things off with the summary. Hubris is planned to release in 2022 for PC VR, Oculus Quest, and the PlayStation VR. My playthrough was on the Rift platform, and if I'm being completely honest, I'm pretty skeptical about a Quest release, but I really hope they can pull it off. The expected gameplay length is between 5 to 6 hours, and the storyline has you playing as a new recruit to the most likely nefarious multi-planetary order of objectivity agency. Your first mission is interrupted, and you're redirected mid-flight to a twin planet system and given only the basic need-to-know information. Obviously, there's a conspiracy to be discovered later on, but this new mission doesn't start off well, as you crash land on the planet and survival becomes your new main objective. The world of Hubris is filled with alien beauty, in fact, it's some of the best graphics I have seen on VR to date. This includes titles like Half-Life Alex, Asgard's Wrath, and Lone Echo. This was my genuine reaction seeing the alien world for the first time. Oh man. Oh. What? Holy crap. It's awe-inspiring and something only VR can truly deliver. From here, the game was your typical platforming, climbing, puzzle solving, and wildlife battling. But VR succeeds in making all of these tasks much more exciting. The movement and controls felt great, missing a ledge or the slow approach of an alien creature really gets the blood pumping. Swimming was also a new unique VR experience that works surprisingly well. Now, one hour wasn't enough to show me exactly what this game has in store, but it definitely left me eager for more. So the next question is, who who is this game for? Generally, this is when I answer the question, should you buy this game? But in its current state, I'd rather talk about the game's ideal audience. I know the developers are targeting fans of games like Half-Life Alyx, Boneworks, and Stormland. Based on my one hour demo, I wouldn't say it's exactly like those games, and it's closer to a combination of Lone Echo and Tales from the Galaxy's Edge. Now it does include some of the best attributes from both of those games, and even improves on their formulas. If you found Lone Echo lacking action, and Tales from the Galaxy's Edge to be lacking in graphics and mechanics, well then Hubris is what you're looking for. If you want a straight shooter, and have zero zero interest in platforming or a storyline, then maybe it's not right for you. Otherwise, if the remainder of this game can deliver, it's headed towards a top tier VR title. So here's the verdict. The Hubris demo is a surprisingly great experience, and if the remainder of the game is as good as the demo, it's most likely headed onto a list of my top 10 favorite VR games. It's definitely too early for any definitive statements, and it's even possible that the first hour is the best the game has to offer. But for now, I recommend you wishlist this title and keep an eye on it. The pros include absolutely stunning graphics, excellent climbing, swimming, and platforming mechanics, and an intriguing storyline. On the con side, we had some mediocre voice acting. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't on par with the game's graphics. I do have some performance concerns. While it ran well for me, I'm using an RTX 3090, and it's hard for me to believe these graphics will run well on their minimum recommended specs of a 1080. I also have that same concern for the Oculus Quest. There's either going to be a major downgrade in graphical fidelity, or this game just will not run right. And I also had some platforming frustrations throughout my demo, but this was mainly due to the fact that not all standard VR control schemes are in place right now, but the developers have reassured me that these will be in the final product. Okay, so let's jump into some gameplay footage, but if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Oh. Wow. Wow. Oh. Good morning, recruit. I'm Lucia, the pilot of this That's bad. ship. Before I unlock your sleeping cabin, I'm going to give you a short update. We have just left light speed to enter the twin planet system, still several hours away from your drop-off point, the intergalactic harbor on the pillar planet, where you, let me check your data. What? Hold on!
That's bad. The water looks crazy, oh, but at, at first it's just like so disorienting. And then, like, you kind of adjust to it, but it's almost like exactly what underwater looks like. You see those batteries over there? Yeah, 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 I'm Take on it. One. Relax. And put it in your backpack. Oh, that's a regular switch. Oh, hit the switch. Good. Now follow me outside. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Oh. What? Holy crap. I mean, this... This looks incredible. You see that recon drone over there? On top of that rock. I tried to reactivate it, but the battery is wasted. So if you can climb out of the water and put a new battery in, then I can re-enter the ship and try to connect to the drone from there. Could you give me a minute to take this in? Honestly, this is... See, now when I'm playing, like, Star Wars uh, Tales from the Galaxy's Edge, this is the Come alien on. planet. The okay, okay. Put it in the drone. God. Okay. Great, you did it. My turn now. What I was saying before you so rudely interrupted me is like this. This is what I like to see. I feel like I'm on an alien planet, man. This is yes, crazy. It works. I can control the drone remotely okay. now. You do you. While you are unconscious, those two troopers already left the ship and went looking for the spaceport. I suggest you follow them. Not ominous at all. Okay. I'll lead the way. I already Recruit, started. Follow me. Well, I mean, the drone. <laughs> Avoid swimming in the water as much as possible. I tried blasting these squids, but my energy blaster no, seems to go no in. Something comes out. Oh, that looks like a torpedo gun. Let's get out there and hunt some squids and bring back some arms. Got Didn't it. you pay attention during your weapon course? Torpedo guns can only be used underwater. Kind of didn't make the splash I was looking for. Oh, eat it. seen me yet. Splat. On the other side. You got this. You got this. Okay. I mean, I'm sure some people will be annoyed that they highlight them blue. They're making it too easy. Uh, I appreciate it because I have no patience. But, um, I guess, you know, if there, whoa, if there was an increased difficulty level, they can hide the blue shadowing for people. Let me just try this. Watch this. One arm grab. Okay, we're gonna do the one arm grab maneuver. One arm grab maneuver. A dead trooper. Hey, that trooper's gun over there could come in handy. Got I guess it. I don't have to tell you those bugs are deadly. Deadly bugs, got it. It's 
snack. Gone. Oh, good. They seem to like that food. Let's go. Okay, everybody, that was today's rundown for the demo of Hubris. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. And as always, I will see you guys on next time.